Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be cooking a Western influence dish uh, called beef ragu. It's probably brought to Vietnam by the French because in Vietnamese we call it uh, bò ragu. It's quite similar to another dish uh, called bò kho or Vietnamese beef stew um, that I made a video a while ago. But for bò ragu we use a lot less spices, so no lemongrass, no star anise or cinnamon. We just use very popular and basic ingredients like tomato sauce and some starch vegetables like potatoes or uh, beans or uh, green peas. Um, you can serve this with some pot steamed rice or a Vietnamese baguette. So let's begin. Helen's recipes. The ingredients you're gonna need are three carrots, three to four small potatoes, one medium sized onion, one cup of tomato ketchup. You can also use about one third cup of tomato paste instead. One can of baked beans in tomato sauce. You can also use green peas instead. And another main ingredient is of course the beef. Use the beef with some fat or a tendon in it, like beef shank, beef brisket, or beef tongue is also nice for this dish. Cut the beef into 1 by 2 inch pieces and then season with a tablespoon of minced garlic, salt, sugar and chicken stock, 1 teaspoon each. Oh, and don't forget some cracked pepper. Mix well and set aside for about 15 to 30 minutes. Make some V-shaped incisions around the carrots. Then slice into half inch pieces. Then you will have many pretty cuts of carrots flowers. Cut the potatoes into bite sized pieces. Try to cut in equal size so that they can be cooked evenly. Cut the onion into wedges and cut the wedges in half. Now heat a large pot on medium high and add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then add some minced garlic and fry until fragrant. Then toss in the beef and stir fry until the color changes. a cup of tomato sauce and mix well. Then add 6 cups or 1.5 liters of water. Today I add 2 cups of coconut juice and 4 cups of water to make the stew more hearty. You can also use chicken broth if you like. Then cover the lid and lower the heat and cook for 45 minutes. If you have a pressure cooker, then you just need to cook for 15 minutes. Because the carrots take more time to cook, we're gonna add it in first. Then cover and cook for 10 minutes and then add in the potatoes. Cover and cook for another 10 minutes until soft. Finally, add the onion and the baked beans and turn off the heat. The baked beans are very soft already, so don't cook them any further, otherwise they will break and turn mushy in the stew. 
Now you want to have a taste and add 1 to 2 more teaspoon of salt. The baked beans and the coconut juice are quite sweet already, so I don't add any more sugar or chicken stock. That's it, we are done. The beans will sink to the bottom of the pot, so when you ladle to serve, don't get them. If you want it thicker, you can mix a tablespoon of cornstarch or tapioca starch in water and add to the stew. For me, this is thick enough, so I just transfer it to a bowl and garnish with some cilantro. We're gonna serve bò ragu with some bánh mì or crispy baguettes. The beef is really tender, the vegetables is cooked just right, soft but still in their shape. Mmm, let me give it a try. Tear a piece of the crispy baguettes and dip into the stew. Mmm, so good. Beef shank is really a good choice for this dish. I love the tendon bits when I bite into the beef. That's it for today. Let's check out what other viewers are cooking these days. I see a lot of deep fried dishes here. It's getting cold and wet everywhere, maybe that's why. Thank you for tagging me in those delicious photos. And don't forget to sing when you cook because that makes life a lot happier, like this one. <laughs> that's really cute. this video don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious Vietnamese food thank you for watching bye bye